Hey everyone, it's Abby here from Sales for Shorts, and we'll be looking at the App API Decorator in LWC. So the, the App API Decorator is used for passing data between components in LWC, and it is a fundamental concept that allows components to communicate and share information. Uh, this decorator in a Lightning Web component is used to mark a property or a method as public, which means it can be accessed by com that component's parent. And this is how you would expose data or functionality from a child component to a parent component. And it will also, it will basically mark that component as reactive. So it, um, it will be able to change. All right, so let's dive into it. So I have two components here, my parents, my parent component and my child component. So these are the two LWCs that I've just created. And first thing first, let's go expose these parameters. Okay, I'm gonna make it a target over like mean app page because I have a custom app page that we will be putting this, com this component on. Aha, uh -huh, let me just go to the meta file of the parent component as well, and I'm just going to copy that. This ain't going to be the same for both. Okay, make sure I save it. Then let's go into our child component first. So this is where we'll be having our variable. So we're going to have a message variable. We want to expose this from the child component to the parent component. So in Lightning Element, we want to add API. We want to import API, and this allows us to use the API at API decorator over here. And then this message variable will be exposed to the parent. So that's what I'm going to add over here. And then in the HTML, I want to add um, we could just add a paragraph tag and use our message, display our message here. So this should at first not show anything because we don't have not assigned anything to our message uh, variable over here. And in our parent component, this is where we want to manipulate the variable. Well, I'm not going to add anything in the JavaScript. So in here, we want to include our component. So I want to include our um, lightning component in here. So our LWC that we just created. So the way we name this and set the naming convention for referencing uh, lightning with components inside of other lightning with components. So we have, uh, it's my, my child. My child component. So this is how we would reference it. And then inside here, so you know, I usually have like a button and then you can set the on click and the label. So for our attributes of this component, we should have message. Because we have a message that's public because of the API decorator. And then we can set this message over here and say hello from parent component. Okay. And now, so that, that's how they basically talk to each other. So let's first deploy our, our child component and we can deploy our parent component. Curing my parent all right let me go into salesforce and go edit this page okay and then we can go and look for our work components that are my child component is going to be the first one. And as we says, we drag this in, it should be empty. So we don't have any 
anything in the message at the moment. And then when we have our parent component, we should see the new message. How it uses that component and updates the message. Then we can see it pull through. Okay, great stuff. So yeah, we can see that our component is working as expected. We are bringing in the child component into the parent component and we can access the variable in from the parent component while inside of the parent component from the child component. So yeah, that's how you use the at API decorator and how to pass data from your child to your parent. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to drop any comments if you have any questions or specific requests and then forget to subscribe.